Hey, I'm Ben Napier. This is Scotsman Co., my wood shop. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about wood today. Would you like to learn anything about North American hardwoods? Well, you've come to the right place. This is all materials that we use to build our cutting boards and butcher block countertops from. So uh, that's gonna be our focus today. We're not gonna get like, you know, too crazy or anything, although there is some pretty crazy stuff in here. By the end of the day, this will be ingrained in your mind. So cherry is a, a wood species that we use a lot. It's a common North American hardwood. Nothing crazy, like the, the grain pattern is, uh, it's pretty clean. It's not, it's not, you know, you're not gonna get anything wild. So if you're doing like a kitchen, you're not wanting the countertops to take away from the room. You're not wanting them to be like the big wow factor. Um, cherry is it. Cherry and maple are Aaron's favorite cutting board materials. It's comparable to maple as far as the makeup, the grain and everything, but it is a richer color than maple. Maple is actually, I would say it's Aaron's favorite cutting board material. I think she likes it because you can see things on it. It's very clean. It's, it's easy to clean because you know like, oh wait, there's something on there because it's such a light color. Maple is, uh, it takes dyes and stains very well. Um, so you can, you can dye the color, you can add stain to it, um, and you can, you can do some pretty interesting things with the grain because of that. And so furniture makers use maple a lot. So this is curly maple. Now people will talk about curly maple as if it is a different wood species. It's not, it's still maple. This comes from specific maple trees. They think the theory is that it's the wind blowing the trees that causes it to, to wave. This is bird's eye maple, okay? This is, uh, some of the most sought after wood, and you, you, they do not know what causes it, okay? That's, it is a mystery. You don't know that you're gonna have bird's eye maple until the wood is sawmilled. I have a, a hope chest that I built for Aaron at our house that um, is bird's eye maple, so it's one of my favorites. Now, red oak, solid all right just like America it's not the favorite wood of furniture makers because it's so readily available it is as available as pine but it's a better wood than pine I use it all the time here in the shop to build furniture with it is a it is a beautiful wood to work with when I started in woodworking Red oak was the wood that I liked the most. I liked working with old growth pine, with reclaimed pine, but um, pine is very unforgiving. Like if you if you slip, you're cutting something, it splinters, it tears up, you can ruin a piece with one mistake. With red oak, you gotta really mess up in order to mess up red oak. If you have a red oak piece of furniture, it's gonna last forever. So now let's talk about walnut. Northern walnut is what everyone wants, it's coveted and it's also expensive. And a lot of people say, well, why is walnut more expensive than this? It is hard to get lengths of walnut that are clean and clear. When I say clean and clear, I mean like, they don't have any imperfections and there's no knots in them, there's no, no cracks and there's nowhere it's gonna crack. It is a really rich, really beautiful wood. It's also, it's really stable, so you're not gonna get a lot of warping or cupping or anything like that. So when cooking, like, using as a cutting board, or if you put down walnut countertops, um, you're not gonna have a lot of movement over time. And so it's, it's a really great wood for pretty much anything you wanna use it for. White oak is, it's like the, uh, the better looking cousin to red oak. People ask, why is white oak so much more expensive than red oak? It's because red oak grows everywhere. My farm has tons of red oak trees. My farm has like three white oak trees on it. White oak typically grows in areas that are hard to log, like swamps, gullies, uh, you know, just places that it's hard to get men and equipment into to actually cut the trees and bring them out. So therefore, they're more expensive. So when you hear mahogany, you automatically have a thought in your mind like, ooh, <laughs> uh, it has prestige with it. For some people, 
This is the cream of the crop. I got a friend that even if he's building a piece of furniture that's going to get, he built a bed recently. They got painted powder pink and he built it from solid mahogany, true mahogany. It is stable. Um, it, it's not going to warp and cup and do all that. It's not going to expand and shrink. It is hard. It is a very dense wood. It turns, it cuts, it does it all in the shop. It is, it is a renaissance wood.